Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Lisa Richardson, and today we are coming to you from the Hilton Head Island Bluffton Greater Chamber of Commerce building in the beautiful lobby. That's kind of a mouthful. And I'm your host, Annalisa Itcore. Today we're welcoming three fantastic guests. Our first guest is Charlie Clark. She's Vice President of Communications for the Hilton Head Bluffton Chamber of Commerce. Up next is Mr. Charles Sampson of the Charles Sampson Group of Charter One Realty. And finally, we have Danielle Lapointe. She's the Executive Director for Sunspire Health Hilton Head. So stick around and join us for this episode of 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where Bluffton comes to speak. Where Spring Island comes to speak. Where Hilton Head Island comes to speak. Where Beaufort comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to another episode of 843 TV. Today we are at the Bluffton Hilton Head Chamber of Commerce here on beautiful Hilton Head Island. And we have a very distinguished panel of guests. First up, we have Miss Charlie Clark. She is the Vice President of Communications here for the Hilton Head Bluffton Chamber of Commerce. Yes. So first and foremost, we know that you are kicking off a celebration of small business. So why don't you tell us a little bit about well, that? Well, there's lots to celebrate. You know, I think sometimes we all hear about the apples of the world and the IBMs of the world. It's really small businesses that make the world go round. I mean, 26 million small businesses around the country who just are the backbone of our economy, not just our local economy. Two out of every three new jobs comes from a small business. We think that's worth celebrating. Oh, yes. So Absolutely. every year we do a celebration. This year on May 17th, we're doing a small business day. We're doing it in Bluffton, and we're going to be doing it. What a better place to do it than the new venue 1223 which is such a great example of small business in action, what the McCarthy family has done nice. in Bluffton is amazing. And it's just really a day to celebrate. It's a, learn, it's a day to learn, to grow, to connect with your uh, fellow chamber members. We're gonna kick it off with a uh, town council sort of a round table with our government officials. I mean, how often do you actually get to sit down in a room and fire those questions? <laughs> oh yeah. Fire away, you know, the, the questions of what's happening with growth in Bluffton. How are we gonna handle that? parking, you know, a few other mm -hmm. hot button issues. And it's a great way to kind of get to know them along with some lunch series learning and uh, uh, and an end of the day Bluffton block party. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it's a great day. You know, Charlie, we get to the office, we get so busy and we, we just don't know how to do business. How is the small business day gonna help? What can you do? Give us suggestions. Well, we, we all know, y'all have probably done this too, I do anyway, sometimes your best thinking comes in the shower. <laughs> Or in oh the my night, gosh, in the oh my gosh, totally. On your car, on yes. your way to, so we often, you know, we're, we're here getting so busy doing our business. Sometimes that's not the best place to grow your business. So through Small Business Day in Bluffton, we have a great series of ways to learn. Like, do you wanna learn how to make your cash flow better? Participate in Small Business Day. We have speakers who are gonna help you do just that. Taxes, what's up with the new tax laws? How's that gonna impact my business? We have experts who are gonna tell you that. Um, you want to know more about insurance. When we ask our members what's a hot button issue when it comes to hiring, the cost of insurance mm -hmm. is really yeah. having an impact on business. So how can you lessen that for your business? How do you use digital marketing? What's, what's We hear that turned around. So it's a great way for small businesses to come out, spend one day, just one day out of your busy, busy week. But what you're going to take away from that day in terms of networking at the Bluff to Block party is going to be impactful for the rest of your year, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. The chamber is so great in keeping us in the know, mm -hmm. especially with the series that, that you guys have going on, the In the Know series. So I'm wondering who's up next. Well, you know, we launched this series just this year. We thought, what a great way to, there's so many things that you think are big picture issues, but really impact you here locally. And so we have representatives coming in from the South Carolina Chamber of Commerce, as well as South Carolina's Economic Development Group to talk about how are they attracting businesses? You know, we are now known as one of the most business friendly states in the wow. country. Wow. How did that happen? Yeah. Who are they targeting? And then how does that affect the low country and the region? Because you really have to look at it from that regional perspective. You've been in a lot of those meetings, Charles, you know what that's like. And we do, we do take a big picture look because everything in the big picture is going to filter down. I mean, it's going to have an impact on us. So how do you capitalize that? How do you work with those entities uh, to make a difference? And that's going to be happening on the 15th at uh, Moss Creek Clubhouse. 
really popular. It's been really, the, the first one we did was the last one was on the ports. And the ports mm, is gonna have a really, you, that's, a, that's yes. a big picture yes, issue is. that's gonna have, you know, we talk about jobs and workforce issues, it's gonna be a yeah. biggie. So yeah, we like to take those sort of big issues and pull them down. We're looking to target also having uh, Bobby Hitt there, who's the head of the South Carolina Department of Commerce, great speaker, as well as this fall, we're gonna, um, we've invited Dr. Um, Dr. Pastides, uh, the chance, well, the, the big cheese, the big kahuna the for big USC. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, uh, the head of USC to talk about the new campus and what's oh, happening educationally mm -hmm. in South Carolina. Sure. You just took the word out of my mouth. Every time we talk to you, there's so much that you educate us on that we don't know that what's coming down. I think you know people are unaware of just how much you do have to offer for those folks that live here, the business owners and beyond. So such great things. So we're spring here, uh, coming into the tourist summer season. So what's new for summer? What's coming up? Well, fasten your seatbelts, everyone. Because <laughs> 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 it's going to be a busy <laughs> season. But you know, we like to always say around here, that's the sound of money. That's oh, the yes. sound of cash registers ringing. Mm -hmm. That's the sound of Charles Sampson selling houses. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the sound of that's where, you know, that's our lifeblood. And everybody likes to think we're all in the tourism industry, whether you think you yes. are or not, you're related in some way. That's right. Um, business is booming, if, in case you haven't noticed. If you've, um, you know, just, I know it's tough sometimes this time of the year if you live here to kind of hold the steering wheel. I and, had a moment driving down here this morning. Yeah. I was behind a car from New Jersey and I thought, okay, it's all right. That's a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's so important to kind of look at it that we know that um, advanced reservations on the books right now for the spring through the next six months are up 16% wow. for our homes wow. and villas. Wow. So that's great news. That means more folks coming in, more folks enjoying the island. As you said this morning, we're so lucky we get to live here. This place that yes, people save and save mm -hmm. for, we get to live in. That's so right. It's not uh -huh. bad. I like the tie line of uh, come for a visit and stay for a lifetime. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I love that. It's, it, mm -hmm. it, you know, the number of people that have come for the first time and buy real estate is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I did that. You did, a lot yeah. of people well, did that. That's, so. I started vacationing mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And now you're going to be speaking a little bit more coming up about things like that. But before we close real quick, how can small businesses get a hold of you to get involved? You know what? Check out our website, HiltonHeadBluftonChamber.org. Okay. It's got all the great info great ways to get involved and have an impact on our community and build your business too. Great, always great stuff. Uh, you all stay right here. We're gonna be coming right back with more 843 TV.